This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, uh, in this session, once again, we are going to see document posting itself. Uh, in previous po uh, session, I have shown you guys uh, what we saw like in previous session, how to post a transaction. And uh, certain things I explained, the logic behind uh, the generation of number range and all how system is getting uh, how the number is, is as number document number is getting generated. Uh, and apart from this, how you know the sequence number is going to be identified by system. This is what will be asked by people during interviews and all. It's not like simple questions they are going to ask. OK, so even if the small things are also there in from that also, there will be a lot more questions can be derived now. <clears throat> So again, uh, we are having in document posting itself, we are having some more. So normal posting we did yesterday, every 50. Now <clears throat> we'll do one thing. Let me log in. Then we are having what? We are having reversal posting. Now what is this reversal posting guys? Let's suppose we are having uh, what we did like yesterday we have posted a transaction say for example rent account debit and your bank account credit worth of 500 and 500 so what will happen guys if you made any mistake while posting this transaction, you have given a wrong business area, you have given a wrong cost center, profit center, or uh, even like amount also instead of uh, 5,000, you have given 500. Then what will happen? So if amount instead of 5,000, you have given 500, then what will happen, guys? The same uh, accounting entry, the same, 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 uh, what to say, transactions, once again, it is going to be posted with remaining 4,500 amount, or else, or else, if the other details has been entered wrongly, then the transaction which is posted cannot be deleted in SAP, which is why SAP is most uh, you know trusted ERP in the market because no amendment is possible in in this like whatever the transaction once it is posted, even if you posted mistake by mistake wrongly, it is posted that cannot be deleted. So what will happen then? How to rectify the mistake? How to rectify the mistake which we have done? So for that, we have to reverse the transactions which we have posted. In the sense, let's suppose we have posted a document and system has generated document number 1001. So what will happen, guys? Then in order to <coughs> rectify this mistake, what we have to do, we have to reverse this entry. How that I will show you. And Let me log in. Okay, so now here, uh, before reversal and all, uh, in previous season, we have posted certain transactions, okay, rent related entries. Now, if you want to see, if you want to see the report, okay, how much rent to uh, totally have uh, posted or how much rent we have paid total till now. So, we have to use a transaction code FBL3N. So very famous T code guys that is going to be on the tip of your tongue because every time we have to use this FBL 3N uh, even in real time also and here for practice also. You need to give your GL account. So look at here GL account number 4000 which we have created and your company code that I've given TM00 and then simply click on execute. Execute here that corner button. Look at here at corner. We are having a watch kind of symbol. 
<coughs> so click on execute and look at here till now these four transactions we have posted till now with these four transactions we have posted so 500 501 2 3 now here let's suppose uh, what i found that that document number 1000 look at here document number 1000 document number is also appearing here so document number 1000 it means this 500 was posted uh, you know some mistake we have done in this so you need to rectify this so how to what to do guys so first of all we are going to we are going to reverse this entry we have to reverse this entry and after reversal then we have to we have to post another transactions so look at here guys now you just open one more screen open one more screen and how to reverse use transaction code fb08 and press enter and which document number we are going to reverse guys so you can find out document number is here that is 1000 so give here give here document number 1000 now fiscal year when we have posted this document so of course fixed fiscal year is going to be 2019 because we have already entered in the 2019 fiscal year from 1st of april onwards so give here fiscal year 2019 and then reversal reason give 01 there is certain reason code you have to specify so always people are going to reverse in current period itself so give 01 and then what you have to do you need to click on here post so once you click on post then what will happen one click on post then look at here the 500 is this 500 debit balance is there okay 500 debit balance is there against this 500 again one now here so these all are debit balances are there right so against this what will happen guys if you click on post if you click on post <coughs> then look at here document number 1004 was posted now it means one reversal entry now this 500 debit is there now there is one more entry has been generated by system and 500 credit balance is also added by system it means 500 plus and there will be a 500 minus how you will come to know so you need to click on list and then rephrase because just now we have posted so if you click on rephrase then the newly posted transaction look at here 500 minus is also appearing so now the balance got adjusted earlier it was 2006 it was showing balance was showing 2006 but 500 has been reduced so it is only 1506 so now what we have done we have rectified our mistake it means we have reversed the entry we have reversed the entry and the total balance it adjusted and now what will happen now if you want to post now if you want to post the correct entry then you have to use fb 50 once again and instead of 500 you can give 5000 and you can post a transaction how to post a transaction i have already shown you guys in the previous session so this is what this is how we are going to do this the reversal entry and even there are few more uh, what to say transactions which i which we have to discuss here so reversal posting we have done now whole document what is this whole document i will tell you whenever whenever you post a transactions look at here we are having this whole document option is there what is this whole document guys what is this whole document so i'll tell you <clears throat> generally let's suppose let's suppose uh, we are i have given some information here in the sense this details i have given okay i have given this 
reference field test. Okay, this reference field header text. Some additional informations can be given, guys. Additional informations not during uh, GB posting, but whenever you are going to post the invoices and all, then invoice number and all can be given here in uh, reference field and header text field that can be used. Once we go to account payable segment, then I'll explain in details. Don't worry. Now here, I have given GL account number. Let's suppose again 4000. This is your end GL debit and now let's suppose that rectification entry i'm posting 5000 this 5000 amount now the moment you have given this much detail and now what will happen guys immediately you got an urgent call so if you are going to fill up those other details then it may take some time other details in the sense guys there are lots of other details also here look at here we have to you can give narration Okay, like give test narration also can be given here. Rent posting, I'll just type here like rent posting. Okay, so this narration I have given. Okay, and even business area, cost center, profit center, lots of things can be given. So you have given those details. Now, so what we have given, devil, uh, debit uh, details only we have given. Immediately uh, after giving this details still it means like uh, we have completed 50% the credit entry you have not entered and meanwhile you got a call from somewhere. So what will happen guys now we can quit this in the middle itself or else you got a call from your manager just come immediately. So if you go to the manager desk and let's suppose it has taken half an hour or 45 minutes then what will happen automatically the screen this is going to be logged out automatically it means the connection is going to be this this since it is online server so it is going to be disconnected automatically if there is no any activity performed on this screen let's suppose uh, in real time there is uh, you know a time uh, what to say will be fixed by your basis consultant that if 15 minutes continuously you have not used uh, this screen then automatically it is going to be disconnected it means sap will think that you are not on desk and it is going to be log out automatically so what will happen guys if, if system is going to log out automatically and if the connection is broken then what will happen once you come back again you have to fill up all the details right so now half of the things already we have done so we are having one option okay let's suppose once you receive a call then what will happen in between you are getting certain urgent call then you can keep the first person on hold and you can receive the second one right in the same way what is happening if you are going to attend certain meeting or whatever the things are there in the middle itself if you have to quit this transactions then we can keep it on hold for a certain period a certain time okay so this is the huge you can click on hold a document just look at carefully guys uh, and uh, because at the end of the session, I'll ask certain questions which is being asked by people during interview. So click on whole document. Once you click on whole document, just look at here what is happening. It is taking time, I think. Uh, my connection itself is broken. Let me log in. I'll have to log in once again, guys. I think that is gone.
okay so once again we'll have to do guys the same thing so let's suppose i have given these details and here debit now i have given 5000 okay if you want to give certain narration in the sense text we can give here now then what is happening guys now we are going to keep this document on hold so now click on hold document okay so the moment you click on hold a document what will happen system is going to ask a document number system is going to ask a document number what is this document number so you can give any document number but make sure that it's a kind of password we can say so what is happening here i have given one two three or any you know whatever you want you can give but make sure that you should be able to remember that okay if you forgotten then nothing will happen then press enter now what is happening another document is already exist with this number it means somebody has already uh, what to say enter this document number and still they have you know not posted this i'll just do one thing so unique number we have to not somebody i think i might have itself done something you know testing so we'll do one thing four five and then press enter okay so the document number document number we have given one two three four five okay now here now here look at here document one two three four five was held okay so once you back after half an hour and 40 minutes then what will happen guys then we can we can post this transactions we can complete this transactions so how to complete guys again you need to click on edit button and click on select help document okay if you want to delete then we are having delete option also click on select held document and then you have to give that number which we have entered now if somebody says like what will happen if you forgot if you forgot then nothing will be nothing will happen right then you have to post a new document just do it one thing now i'm going to post i'm going to post this 5000 and earlier i kept this document on hold so if you keep this document on hold i'll tell you guys now you just do one thing let me open a new screen and use transaction code l3n now uh, here if you see the zl balance if you see the zl balance look at here guys still the total balance is 1500 only 1506 it means if you keep any document on hold then what will happen it will not be having any impact on gl balances okay in gl account still we are having the total balance how much it is 1506 itself right so but here how much amount we have given in debit already we have given 5000 so now there'll be ask there'll be a, a question asked by interviewer that let's suppose i have kept a document on hold okay let's suppose i am going to post a transaction and in that transactions debit i have i have just gave the debit entry in the sense that uh, uh, let's suppose my rent seal i have debited with the amount of 5000 okay or 4000 or any amount and then i kept this document on hold i went somewhere so what will happen now i just want to uh, know that is there any impact on the gl balance 
because debit balance already I have given debit amount I have, we have already entered 5000 so put my GL balance is it going to increase by a margin of 5000 and all so you have to say no it is not going to have any impact on GL balances people will ask why because transaction is not completed yet look at here total debit we have given who is going to give total credit here right total credit is not given and apart from this this is not posted yet so what will happen GL balances are going to be updated if any transaction will be posted but here this transaction is incomplete and this is not posted it is kept somewhere on temporary basis and all okay so this is incomplete transactions which is why GL balance is not going to be updated. So how? So how a complete what to say? Transaction, how can we treat it as a complete transactions? Then we have to enter remaining details. Trade details, let's suppose 5000. And press enter here. Now look at here total debit and credit is equals and then we need to post it so once you post it system is going to generate a document number so once the document number is generated then only this is going to be treated as a complete complete document right so complete transactions so document number 1005 was posted now if you come here and click on list and click on refresh so look at here now 5000 got posted so this is the use of hold document okay for your personal use temporary basis uh, you know you can keep this document on hold after some time once you back to your desk you can post this transactions so this is the use of hold a document now now there is one more option guys okay even we are having an options of park document also Look at here, park document. So what is the use of park now? So park document is also having almost similar functionality, but it is a bit different compared to this whole document. Okay. What is this park document? Now, I'll tell you. Uh, park document means this is going to give you a functionality of dual verification now what is this dual verification dual verification i'll tell you guys if if any if any of you uh, is having experience of like working as an end user and that to an sap and that too if you're the part of uh, account payable team and that the invoice posting team then you might have this idea what is called dual verifications now uh, generally, dual verification means. I'll tell you. Now, let's suppose there is a company XYZ Limited, and this company is operating its business from USA. Now, this company uh, will be having several number of employees and all. So uh, this company is a manufacturing organizations and they are you know having lots of invoices are coming on daily basis and lots of invoices are getting posted on daily basis. Then after the invoices what will happen after a certain time they have to release payment also to the vendors. I'm talking about vendor invoices. We'll talk about account payable let's suppose. So lots of invoices are coming from vendors those invoices need to be posted sometime credit memo needs to be need to be raised so those credit memo also need to be posted vendor payment need to be released vendor dispute need to be resolved vendor queries need to be resolved so for that they have to maintain huge number of manpower in the sense employees needed now if these people so nowadays what is happening guys everybody everybody is looking for this cost cost cutting and all so now there is a concept called BPO business process outsourcing. So what is happening whichever the activities are being done in USA by the employee of this XYZ limited now here in India several companies came into existence and they are saying that 
somebody will approach this xyz and they are they are saying that whichever activity you guys are doing while sitting in usa you just assign those activity those those activity to us it means we are going to perform it means we are going to post the invoices on your behalf on this xyz behalf so we are going to post the invoices on your behalf it means we will post the invoices we will release the payment we will do all the activity whichever your employees were doing while sitting in usa so if you look at the cost one employee in usa if they are charging let's suppose five thousand dollar per month for this activity now here in india it will be hardly five hundred dollar less than five hundred dollar because it's end user activities so this this people what will happen they are going to quote certain amount and in that even the client will also think that okay earlier let's suppose they have maintained around 100 people a team of 100 people 100 employee and for that they are going to spend around five lakh dollar now these people have quoted that you just give this process to us and we are going to perform the same activity just in three lakh dollar itself so the first benefit is number of employees got reduced it means they are having direct benefit of two lakh dollar and apart from this for those people they have uh, you know like they're having they have hired certain premises also ac guards lots of you know expenditure ex extra expenditures are there human resource hr people also will be there for you know to serve those people their salaries and all so lots of things you know other expenses also are going to be reduced now this is not none of the like our this one we are not going to discuss in detail those things what i mean to say here is so let's suppose this process was outsourced and it came to ibm the pro tcs every company is having bpo department guys so this process is outsourced is to ibm people so what will happen now ibm is they will set up a team and this this uh, a project manager will be there and this project is going to be assigned to that project manager and those team has to handle these all activities okay now here if the client has handed over client is saying that we are not going to hand over all the process now we are going to give you only account payable and we'll look at your performance for six months we'll watch your performance and if it is satisfactory if the number of errors mistakes are very you know like nominal then only we are going to give you the other processes also so now what will happen guys let's suppose client while giving handing over this process account payable client is going to keep certain conditions also they will say that okay client will say that whatever invoices you guys are posting make sure that less number of mistake will be there okay less number of mistakes will be there and whichever invoices whichever invoices which is more than 1 million if there is any invoice worth of more than 1 million dollar then you have to give some extra care to those kind of invoices and make sure that there is no mistake at all a single percent also there should not be any reversal and all okay it means there should not be any chances of mistake and if there is any mistake in such kind of invoices then we are going to levy certain kind of penalty also it could be 10 percent 5 percent 2 percent of entire your whatever the commitment amount is there right so uh, whichever other companies are there they don't want to you know what to say get any sort of penalties and all they, they don't want to be charged you know any any kind of penalty because first of all the company reputation is going to that will come down and even the client trust is also going to be you know it's a kind of trust breach now here so what will happen they are saying that whichever invoices the invoices which is having one million worth of invoices one million or more than one million worth of invoices should have extra care and there should not be a chances of any single mistake and time to time what will happen client will also do the audit for those kind of invoices okay so what will happen guys how we are going to how we uh, how this ibm people will do this 
avoid the mistake. OK, because this one million worth of invoices should have been posted with the extra care. So for that we are having concept called park and post concept. Park and post concept. This is also called dual verification. Dual verification means what guys? One person is going to. I'll just show you practically. OK, I think uh, once again I'll have to log in. So I will just log in. And I'll show you. So these all are end user activity guys, but we need to know. We need to know as a consultant uh, why because during interview also people will ask certain questions from this topic and even consultant is just like a doctor. So you guys should know your configuration part that is totally yours and all the logics of this configurations and all how we are doing and what we are doing and why we are doing and apart from this end user part also you should know. This is how we are going to perform the testing. Right. So still we are in basic setting itself. There are lots of important topic which will be discussed in future and there are lots of unique topic also which I'm going to discuss which I'm going to explain which those topic you guys will never find anywhere. So this is how you guys are going to be unique. So anyway, these all topics will be discussed one by one later. Now, so we are talking about park and post concept, right? We are talking about park document. Use transaction code FB50. Once again. And here I am going to give certain details once again. Here this. And now let's suppose here I have given the CL number. Debit. And instead of 1 million, I'm just going to keep, let's suppose, 10,000. OK, I'm going to keep 10,000. Just resume that $10,000 itself. Now here. I have not given. Let's suppose I forgotten this narration and all. Now what will happen? 1000. And here. 10,000 amount and these two GLs we have given and press enter. OK, so now. What we have done guys, we have entered all the details. It means one person, one person means, let's suppose there will be two guys, A and B. So in order to avoid, in order to avoid any sort of mistake, that dual verification concept is there for this. Whichever invoices, which is, uh, you know, more than one million worth of invoices are there. For those kind of invoices, one guy is going to uh, first like a let's suppose two people will involve in this transaction this such kind of invoice posting a and b so a is going to enter all the details and then what a is going to do a is going to park this click on park a is going to park this invoices these all details these all data are going to sit somewhere in a temporary table OK, what is this table and all? Don't worry. There will be a separate explanations. There will be a separate class class on this table. I'll let you know. OK, and even during once I share the interview question and answer there also, I have already recorded what people will ask and what you have to reply. So now uh, what is happening that A is A has A is going to park this invoices. OK, so once the a has parked this invoices. Look at here document 1006 was parked. One system has generated a document number. System has generated a document number. Previously, in the previous uh, explanation, I told you guys that we kept a document on hold. So it was not having any impact on the GL balance. So what I said, I said since that was an incomplete transaction. Debit was there, credit was not there, and document number was not generated. 
so that is why gl balance was not updated now here again the interviewer is going to ask the sex, uh, uh, next question that let's suppose i have entered now i have entered debit uh, what to say amount also and credit amount also and even document number also got generated look at here 1006 now what will happen then it means i have parked a document so if you park a document in that debit and credit both details we have given all the details we have given and document also document number also generated so now what will happen is it going to update the gl balance guys what about my gl balance is it going to be increased or decreased so now why not to look at why not to see here itself what is the impact okay whether it is going to update the gl balance or not fb l 3 n to see the gl report and give your gl number and click on execute so once you click on execute guys again your gl balance is not updated why because that transaction which we have part that is 10000 worth of transactions so total balance supposed to be how much more more balance supposed to be there so look at here 6500 this is the previous transactions only it means even if you park a document also in that case also whichever the documents are going to be parked that is also not a complete transaction that is also not a complete transaction okay if it is going to update the gl balance then of course it is a complete transactions right then where is the dual control where is the dual verifications now if somebody has parked it it means still it is incomplete transactions and that cannot be treated as a complete transactions so if document has been parked whatever document is parked that is not a complete transactions gl balance is not going to be updated until unless that park document is going to be posted by somebody so what will happen guys here user a has parked this document and then this guy is going to inform to b okay might be through mail or whatever the communication this one is there there and <clears throat> so once this guy has parked this document then a is going to inform b with the document number okay document number 1006 was generated here so a is going to inform b now b is going to log in to the system by his own user id and then b is going to use a transaction code f v50 okay f v50 FV50 is going to be used. Why it is going to be used, guys? It is going to be used to post a park document. All the documents, whichever has been parked, those transactions are going to be posted by which transaction code? FV50, V for Varanasi. Press enter. Or V for van. So now press enter. Let's see. Oh my God. Okay, so here, what about the first screen? Okay, we are in <coughs> FV50. Look at here, park real account, company got this one. So what you have to do? Click on document and click on select park document. Or even we are having shortcut button also. Select park document. Just click here look at here whichever document was part system has already shown this document number and there is one more thing guys if you want to look the part let's suppose you forgot in the part document number then we are having option here click on back button and even if you want to see the park document then click on park item here this check mark 
and then you can execute. Okay, so now these all are the normal document and this is your part document. Why? Because look at here, these all symbol, if you check this symbol, these all green color sign mark is there, check mark. So it is showing post it. Look at the text which is appearing. If you keep your cursor here, it is showing post it. Whereas we are having this triangle shaped yellow color. If you keep your cursor here, it is showing part. So this is incomplete document. What is the document number? 1006. So here the second person is already having received the mail from A and document number is also specified. So second person is going to give this document number, part document number, and then fiscal year is going to be given and press enter. The moment, the moment B entered these all details, so once again, B is going to verify these all details. B is going to verify these all details and what he found like header text, certain detail is missing. So he has rectified those things and even at amount level also, they're going to check and let's suppose this text field is missing. Text field is missing. So he has given the text also. Okay. And then, then what will happen? Then finally, this transactions will be posted. How? Not here. You have to click on save part document as completed. Sorry, not here. We have to click here. Post. Click on post. Click on post. So once you post it, the same document number once again is going to be generated. Look at here, document number 1006 was posted. Earlier, document number is getting generated, right? But earlier, what was happening, guys? Earlier, it was parked. Okay, so once the document number 1006 has been generated, that is allocated already to a particular transactions. So initially, what was happening, guys? It was parked by one guys, and the same document number was posted second time by second person B. So this is called park and post concept, or else it is called dual verification. Dual verification means we have to post if you have to post certain invoices in which like with extra care and all then what will happen will go for dual verifications or is even uh, initially what is happening guys uh, if the process is quite new <clears throat> then for every invoices they will keep this dual verifications in the sense like uh, first of all it is going to be parked by somebody and then uh, second person is going to uh, check all the details once again and then that is going to be posted by different person. So uh, this is the use of park document. Okay, so now what I have covered here whole document and park document. These are the major important I want to say topics which I have covered in document posting today in this session. Now what is the purpose of uh, what to say covering this topic guys? So as I said that once you go for interview, people may ask a question. And what is the question? The question is, what is the difference between whole document and part document? So now this question I'm asking to you people. You just reply the difference between whole document and part document. So let me know what is your understanding. Anybody can explain whole document and part document. What is the difference? You can unmute your audio, you can explain or else you can type the answer. Because the part document, one person is going to enter the transaction and another person is going to post the transaction. Okay. And in the case of a uh, whole document, one person will hold the document for the a later time. He will post that entry. Mm -hmm. Anything else?
we can see the part of the luck man wait 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 uh, let 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 her complete then you yeah hi there you just complete have you completed no no now what you are saying we can see the past documents who are pending okay you cannot see the whole document list of whole documents i think okay mm -hmm. theek hai anybody else if the whole document if any mistakes is available we can check in the whole documents uh huh and part document is uh, for uh, other is purpose we use part document okay mm -hmm. and uh, apart from this anything ekta you want to say something because you have unmuted your audio but unable to hear your voice okay so even you guys uh, can uh, you know type the answer and you can reply if if like let's suppose if your voice is not audible might be some problem will be there in the mic now there is a reply from arun saying that whole document means we can hold it hold in between whereas documents can be part after both legs done okay now so any any other answer any other answer by anybody so i'll tell you guys these are the common answers uh, which is given by uh there is a uh, answer from rahman saying that whole document means we can hold incomplete documents okay so i'll i'll tell you guys both are incomplete itself we cannot say incomplete in the sense complete document means what guys complete document is complete document means it is it, it should update uh, the gl balance right so if the gl balance is not updated it means this is incomplete document so both are incomplete document okay so now what i said whole document and part document even there is a reply from within also let me check whole document due to lack of informations of any part document used for double verifications by any other person or manager or any approval part document is used for dual verifications okay so whatever you said is okay guys but this is a common answer which will be given by everybody right but i just wanted to listen some unique why if you say these answers why people are going to select you only right because everybody is are going to explain in same way okay so part document whoever my students are there you guys are not going to say any of these all things okay let other people explain these all things what you guys are going to say the first thing in whole document and part document okay so in part document number what is happening external document number
what is this external document number and external document number means i'll tell you during a whole document user is going to assign the document number manually whereas in park document system is going to assign the document number so external document number means user user has given the document number whereas in park document what is happening guys system automatically is going to generate the document number have you noticed this anybody right so this is the first thing don't worry once again uh, you know these all things will be uh, like uh, once i share you the interview question and answers so there i have compiled all these questions and answers in a very simplest language and all so these all things you no know, once again you guys will come to know so now here in hold document what is happening in hold document user is going to give the number uh, you know document number whereas in park document what is happening system is going to assign the number document number that is the first thing second thing second uh, what to say differences second differences means uh, second differences will be what hold document is going to be completed and posted by same user whereas park document is going to be posted by different user i mean to say same user id and different user id okay generally if you talk about real time then park document means somebody is going to one user is going to park this and second user is going to post this so both user will have different different user id right so whole document is going to be posted by same we same user whereas park document is going to be posted by a different user right so these are the major differences which you guys can see see uh, almost like whatever you guys said that is also correct that is also correct but that is quite common which is going to be explained by everybody right so interview if you talk about interview or interview or want to listen certain unique things now if somebody ask and what is the similarity similarity means you can say whole document is also incomplete document and park document is also incomplete document people is will ask like how how you can say that this is incomplete documents so you have to say that in both cases there is no any impact on gl balances it, in the sense like if you keep a document on hold or if you park a document whatever you do do there is no any increase or decrease in gl balances due to this hold and park document it means if you hold a document if you park the document this is not going to impact the gl balances okay so this is what the similarity is both are incomplete document okay so this is what people will ask and this is how you have to respond okay uh, if somebody asks the difference between whole document and park document you have to say that whole document means user is going to give document number manually whereas in park document system is going to generate the document number second one is what second difference will be whole document will be posted by same user whereas park document is going to be posted by a different user okay and similarity means both are incomplete documents and in both cases what will happen gl balance is not going to be updated so that's all guys that's all in this session and that's all for today